Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live session with Stock Sniper Trading. My name is Dave, my partner is Ron, and uh, yeah guys, we're back for another sesh. Okay, so guys, today at 10 a.m., uh, Mr. Powell speaks, all right? So you can see the yesterday, we didn't have much uh, news, but today at 10 a.m., um, Chair Powell speaks at 10 a.m., all right? So we just got to keep that in mind. I will be trading until about 10.15 today, okay? Um, so... Guys, when we're when we're trading, all right. Um, first things first is always check the description box. This is not a, a basically signal group, as you guys you could say. Uh, we're here to provide free technical and fundamental analysis. All right. So any trades taken upon you or upon yourself, okay. Use a demo account if you're still new. Uh, if you don't know anything about FX or trading in general, make sure to consult with a financial advisor. Okay. And see if uh, we're actually going to fill this wick to the upside, or gold maybe is going to sell off and start to go bearish and look towards the downside. Okay. So. Um, guys, just give me one quick second here. Uh, I just got to go check my Wi-Fi for two secs. Uh, I just got upgraded Wi-Fi, so um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, just give me two seconds, guys. I just got to make sure that everything's running, so I will be right back. Okay, two secs. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, all good to go. All right, so let's get down to business. Let's do some top down on gold. All right, how many people are looking to trade gold today? All right, how many people are trading gold? Guys, if you're trading gold, you can put them in the chat. So, so you can see here that once we made a nice little bounce here on the daily, all right, price is starting to rise. Okay, so you can see it's rising nice. It's currently at 1807. All right, so um, I'm going to gather a nice high supply zone. All right, right around here, right around 1829, 1834. Okay, so we need to switch this to red. All right, the reason why it's red is because of the sellers. Okay, every time we come in this area, we sell. Tap here, we sell. Okay, coming into demand, we buy. Coming into demand, it looks like it's nice buying power here. All right, so we're going to keep it pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Let's uh, draw a 50 point right through these supply and demand areas. And uh, it's going to look like this. It's going to be yellow, guys, for the higher time frame. Okay, and then we're going to use um, a baby blue for the lower time frame. Okay, so let's gather the support right there. And then you can see we're good, guys. Every time we bounce up on here, and this is on the daily, so if you're trading daily candles, if price breaks above and goes bullish, you can see it's going to fill this wick, maybe up to the next area supply, or it's going to get rejected here around 1812. You can see it's already getting one push down, and then maybe make a push down to the bottom, come back around to this demand area right here. All right. So since we did this on the daily, let's drop it now down to the four hour. All right. This is what we're looking like right now in the four hour. You can see our main goal is to trap price and look for the overall breakout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather a nice support area right there. I'm going to gather one more down here, and then one more right before we get into demand, okay? And uh, guys, a lot of time I keep my charts, like I keep my charts for like probably one to two days. You know my DXY is not really ever erased, um, simply because, you know what I mean, it's nice to look at the past so we don't always have to look left and things like that. So um, I'm looking at getting the next area of resistance, uh, breaking down this big bearish candlestick here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go from the four hour down to the hourly. Okay. And you can see it's still not broken yet. So this might be a nice little area of uh, short term supply. Okay. So I'm going to actually erase that. I'm going to Draw something along the lines of this, okay? And then we have one key wick right up top here, which is shooting right through um, previous consolidation structure to the left, all right? Gold gang, that's it guys, gold gang. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna wait and gather uh, the area right here. I just wanna see how far it might be. If we do start to break above here, guys, this supply, we're looking at maybe a 20, 22 pip move. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like 20 pips. I know a lot of other people do too. So what I'm looking at doing now 
is breaking down this bearish candlestick for the next area of resistance like I was mentioning. Right now you can see that every time it pushes, it finds some support right at this line, pushes, finds some support at this line. See how it's trying to break down here? We held it and now we're maybe looking at making the push up to the upside, okay? Um, so let's drop it out down to the 30 minute, all right? And now you can see, remember how I told you I wanted to break down that bearish candlestick here? This is what we're looking at. So now we're below the hour, okay? We got to switch, make this baby blue. And then you can see pretty straightforward, okay, if you guys have been trading with us for a little bit, that, uh, like I said, support, we have the supply area right here, which is this previous structure getting pushed down, and then you have your overall nice breakout if it's going to continue to the upside, okay. This is a nice engulfing candlestick shooting price to the downside, so that's why you're getting a little bit of a retest here on this candle wick, and then maybe coming up here a little bit further before making its overall directional movement, okay. Uh, I don't know if gold is going to rise, guys. Uh, we just got to watch on news, okay? We just got to watch price, all right? Like, every time people ask, uh, is gold going to rise, is gold going to fall? Um, you don't always know, but you got to watch candles, all right? And you can see that what I'm looking to now do is gather my other key areas of support, all right, and resistance. Resistance, support, all right, before we make our overall moves. Um, I'm going to just edit this one to the downside. Use this bottom wick as you can see how it finds nice support. Running, uh, basically not allowing it to break down and running to the downside. Okay, it's pretty much just finding support and then starting to rise. You okay, guys, give me one second here. So my next key area on the 15 minute, I'm looking at gathering right here. Okay, and then from the 15, we're going to drop to the 10. And now we're looking at, I'm just going to adjust this right there, get the bottom. And as you can see, guys, the main goal is to trap price, all right? Trapping price. So that's about a 16, 15 pip move, depending on your spreading commission, trapped. And now we're looking at maybe looking for the break to the upside or to the fall to the eventual downside. All right. So we're just going to drop right down to the five now. And we're going to work from here accordingly, all right? Price has not filled this bottom wick right here, so this could be a double top. Looking for maybe eventually starting to sell a little bit. All right, if that's the case, guys, we just have to make sure to understand that we're, it's around 738. Okay, generally when we start the calls, we come to this point where um, it's around midway through the hour. All right, and then we got to make a decision. Are we going to have a continuation or are we going to have an eventual reversal? So let me just check here, guys. Let me set this up. Okay, so if price does want to fall here, looking at filling that wick, maybe looking like a little double top, all right, to the downside. This is the first chart markup, yeah, Lucimera, absolutely, hon. Okay. And then if we would like to go bullish here, guys, you can see that a lot of resistance here forming, even if we drag price or the resistance over here. You can see it's really strong strength, around 1807.73, all right? Now, if we're going to go bullish, looking for an eventual push right around here, looking at maybe getting to this area, which is just this rejection wick for the eventual three to four bar play. All right, so let's edit this quickly. about 13, 15 pips. Okay, if price wants to go bullish, like I said, it can get up probably to supply area for one more attempt and then probably sell off here, okay? If not, you're looking at getting the overall sell continuation coming from 18, almost 1806, 1807, sorry, 1807.93, sorry, 1806.93, my bad, I started time reading that. And now looking at around 1807. So remember guys, my gold chart is Saxo, okay? So just make sure that it, you understand that it's not always exactly going to be uh, what the chart price is on yours. All right. So we just have to make sure that, you know, you're looking in the general areas. Okay. In the general areas. So just going to set some alarms here. And right down here too. Okay, now the, guys, the ending of the green is your eventual TP. So 
If you're looking at a TP and you're wondering what it is, something like 1804.50, okay? And then you have 1810 if we're gonna rise and go bullish, all right? So I have the alarm set, guys. Let's ready to rock. I'm going to switch over and look at GBPUSD. So GU is heavy consolidation sell-off structure here. Okay, you can see from yesterday, guys, from the overall sell, we caught the nice breakdown, okay? And then it just has been pumping ever since. Okay, so we're approaching similar to the same strength, or sorry, the same area as the eventual sell, but we're gonna watch into a top down from this one. <coughs> okay, so follow along. This is gold on um, Owanda, all right? This is gold on Owanda. So I'm not looking at getting anything down there. If, if we were trading down here, guys, you can see the bottom wicks. That was a nice area of demand, all right? Key push, a lot of wicks, and then you have eventual break to the upside, okay? Pretty straightforward. We've been trading um, Jew for a while, all right? And now we're at a critical point where you can see this wick right here has broken above this previous wick, okay? So it is making a reversal and attempting to break near, uh, probably break to the upside around 36,500, okay? 36,500. So let's watch and see how far GU can go before making any kind of overall, maybe continuation movements here, or looking for potential support and then reversal to continuation of bullish, okay? I'm looking for a key area of resistance. If price does flip, okay, right around here. Okay, now that's gonna be higher time frame, so we need to switch that to yellow. And uh, basically, guys, I'm only on the daily here. So what we're gonna do is take a switch down to, I'm gonna gather one more demand area just down here, okay? And this is not typically how I do it, but if price does sell off, okay, you're getting a lot of resistance out of some supply area right here. Price does sell off. This is gonna be the areas of nice support. So if we break here, guys, or girls, we're gonna to continue to fall possibly down to here, all right? Bottom wick, and we're good to go. Yeah. So GU, you can see you have a nice engulfing candlestick on the four hour time frame. Okay, GU has been very choppy if you're trading it on higher time frames. You can see by a lot of the wicks here, but the overall continuational movements have been pretty strong, okay? So what I'm looking at gathering is pretty much this doji candle for any kind of support right here. All right. And then if we wick down, looking at maybe filling this wick right here. Let's see, guys. There is some divergence spotted. Okay. You see that price is rising. Okay. And then you have your RSI relative strength uh, slowly falling. Okay. So let's drop from the four hour down to the hourly. Make some adjustments at this time. This is the area that we're working in. I see a nice bounce in terms of price going support. You can see how it pushed up here. And then you held, and then it's starting to walk, okay? So that doji candle switched to, you know, almost your uh, dragonfly doji, all right, before it's getting its overall push. That's what created that nice little continuation bend. But now you can see the clear, clear selling pressure, okay? So we're right at this critical support, all right? Nice, nice sell, guys. So if you caught the sells, beautiful move, okay? We, we, we weren't even charted there just yet, but there is a nice area of support you can see by the overall wick that's getting a little bit of bounce. So guys, from this area drop to here, I'm gonna about six pips. So I'm just gonna erase this just for now, okay? I wanna see if price is gonna start to fall down, touch maybe the support here, or if it's gonna hold actual price to in this area right now. So. Pretty pretty straightforward. We're only trading in this area. I do need to gather an area of resistance at the high, okay? And then now uh, we'll go down here to the 30 minute. All righty. So you can see that price, price is uh, slowing down, okay? So there's not much volume filled here just because of the time, 745, all right? But you can see slowly bounce out of demand. There's some divergence spotted, which is why you got that nice little sell-off there. So if you guys caught it up here, beautiful move, all right? Okay, so 
just looking now, let's drop it now down to the 15. One second here. Okay. So guys, this is what she looks like on the 15 minute. Zoom in. All right, now we're trading in this area. So GU is going to be interesting. All right, I want to get it on the 10 or the 5 minute. It's at a critical like sell-off point now. You can see it's not over completely oversold. All right, it's still in hovering around that area. All right. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. So let's watch price before we start to make any kind of movements here. So let's drop it right to the 15 to the 5. Finding some support. Wanted to find it on the previous candle, which is there, guys. So we need to make this baby blue. And then we'll zoom out, get everything kind of configured here. And we're looking pretty good, okay? Looking pretty good. Now, guys, my chart might look completely different. Like I said, my top downs might be way different than yours, okay? Everything's acceptable. You know, my way is not the end-all, be-all. My way is just ways that have been working for me for quite some time. Okay, um, we're looking at price to getting down, pushing to this area right here. Okay, if it holds support in this area, you can start to see this will be a little bit of a neckline. That's what's going to have the f potential fall, but we're starting to hold the support. All right. Have some resistance here. Okay, so now we're just trapping. Price is, uh, like I said, it's in that weird area where you don't know if you want to enter or not. The better options was entering up here, okay, obviously, because you had the downtown continuation. So it's a, it's going to be a key indicator if price is going to start to reverse, right, or if price is going to start to really have that overall continuation. <clears throat> All right, so two minutes and five seconds left here. Let's watch and see what's going to happen. For a continuation sell, guys, we're looking at this price right down here. Okay. And this is just the overall continuation. And remember, guys, my prices may be a little bit different from yours. And if G wants to rise, it's very straightforward. You have your overall area. Oops. Wrong one. Have your overall area of continuation back into testing of a short term supply, or sorry, a daily supply area. Okay. So let's watch and see. Guys, remember if it goes bullish, this trade might be short lived. Okay. This might be a short term pullback because the selling pressure is real. All right. I think that it's going to have an overall sell continuation, but again, if you're a scalper, which trust me when I say five, six pips is more than enough if you know how to use it properly. All right, so let's watch and see what price is going to do, and uh, let's act accordingly. Okay, so I'm just going to set some alarms right here. Okay, and then we're going to go take a look at NASDAQ. All right, get all three charted here. NASDAQ, beautiful sell-off. If you caught it, it's looking nice. All right, if you didn't, guys, you understand that now we're just watching NASDAQ and see what's happening here. Okay, price is at this previous area. I'm not going to do a top-down on NAS. You can see it's already pretty much done. All right, we're just going to adjust accordingly. All right, so there. And you have your overall eventual demise, which has been the fall right around this area right here. You have a bounce, bounce, bounce. This was the low point. Okay. So I'm looking at gathering a nice area of support in this area. Okay. And if price wants to find overall support before continuing, we're going to look at getting some resistance right there. Okay. So for NASDAQ, guys, for me, I'm just, I'm waiting, okay? I'm going to throw on my 9, which is the 9 exponential moving average, okay? 
guys, trust me when I say this is not the only thing that works. There's plenty of other things out there. The only thing that really works is price. And trust me, uh, you can watch as many tutorials, as many videos as you can. But if you're not trading live and practicing, you're going to have a hell of a time trying to learn. Okay. Anyone can get any kind of videos or anything like that from anywhere. It doesn't matter. The key is that you're practicing. Okay. The key is that you're practicing. All right. And that's just like anything to become a better basketball player or golf player or whatever you may want to think. Okay. You're not going to get there if you're just watching and reading and doing things like that. You might have a great idea, but what happens when you to comes to putting it into action? That's what, that's what we're looking for here guys. And I'm not looking to do, um, drawing down channels or trend lines or anything like that. You can pretty much see based on price. You can see with the moving average, this acts and shows you the overall trend. You can see nice three white soldier pattern right here. The trend is showing upwards. Okay. So, and as soon as it breaks down here, you can see to the left, price is starting to shoot to the downside. So for NASDAQ guys, if it holds or breaks, this is higher time frame support. All right. So if it's a short here, we're looking at shorting it down to roughly right here. Okay. And if she wants to go long, because we're finding some support, we're looking for long. Personally, I'm not, I'm not looking right here because the moving average, it might get rejected. I'm looking at something probably along the lines of right up here. Okay. And again, my ways of doing things might be different from yours. So, you know what I mean? If it makes sense to you, look for it. If it doesn't, then you know what I mean? Keep on your own analysis and maybe just watch price based on my charts. Okay. So let's see, we have a target or a potential entry at 15, five, uh, roughly 15,682. Right. And then you have a nice little TP area of 15,654. Okay, so I'm actually going to draw a midpoint here as well. Just in case price does want to break down there, uh, I'm going to have to change this to baby blue. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry about that. And we are going to add an alert here. Okay. So, guys, um, just got to quickly let my dog out. He sometimes goes nuts every time I'm on the call. <laughs> and so, just give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I'm going to leave NASDAQ on here. So just keep in mind that if NASDAQ breaks his previous wick to the downside, it's going to make a lower low. All right. So give me two seconds, guys. I will be right back literally and not too far long at all.
Hey guys, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> so you can see that NASDAQ, it actually broke down, okay? Ran about, I guess you could say, maybe 10 pips, 11 pips, and then it shot right back up, all right? So you gotta expect stuff like this, okay? But if you got that nice little drop, okay, you got that nice little drop, price is looking like it might continue, or it might come back up and retest, which it's currently doing right now, all right? So let's watch and see what's gonna happen with NASDAQ. sort of forming like a spinning top not really a bullish pin bar just yet okay so let's watch let's check with the rsi see where we're at nice selling pressure below the 50 okay so we're going to see if price is going to rise or if it's eventually going to start to fall okay so we got a gold alert all right let's see what's going on with gold let's see if it's selling here nope gold is going bullish okay gold is finding some support Okay, and it's starting to rise to the bull side. Okay, so guys, what we're looking for here, okay, before you enter, all right, break, you want to retest, and you want to have a continuation based on this. All right, so let's move this over, and we'll put up a little bit of a price flag right here. So we're watching that for that retest, guys. If price does just shoot up and start to tap, okay, you got to remember that that's an impulse candle. Okay, whether you want to learn to take those or not, that's up to you. Okay, you can be an impulse trader, you can be a confirmation trader. All right, both have their benefits, but you just got to remember that price eventually will do its own thing. So there's Nasdaq. One second, we got three alarms going off right now, guys. Okay, there's Nasdaq. There's a continuation. Uh, Pranav, I think we got your email, dude. Uh, it depends where you are in the world. We're not accepting that. All right, just because of the, I'm not saying that you are, but because there's a lot of scammers. And to be honest with you, these uh, payment companies, they, they ban a lot of people around the world. It's pretty crazy. So um, we'll figure that out for you, dude. We do have your email, but we'll be in touch. Okay, so you can see NASDAQ is running deep in profits right now, guys. Running deep. Okay, so let's go check out GU2. You can see that GU guys is starting to sell. Okay, GU is starting to sell. Let's see how far we're going to get on GU. target roughly right down here okay and if G wants to continue guys we have the nice little continuation sell so let's monitor this let's watch okay let's check out gold gold is trying to rise guys you see how it has that nice little wick down here this is just gold okay gold is being gold right now but it ran okay GU starting to run. Let's check out NAS2. NASDAQ, guys. NASDAQ was the, one of the plays of the day so far. Okay, guys. So NASDAQ has ran pretty nice. About 20 pips, okay, currently. And it's ran about 24. Nice sell, guys. Nice sell. All right. NASDAQ just hit TP, guys. All right. NASDAQ just hit take profit. Okay. So if you're in on it, like I said, running 26 pips. All right. 26 pips. 
So you can take the trade, you can do what you got to do, but you can see clear as day that NASDAQ has hit take profit. All right. I'm just going to leave this alone for now. We'll come back and we'll try to find if price wants to reverse and go bullish. We'll find some opportunity then. But for right now, you can see that NASDAQ tapped. All right. So first trade of the day, guys, has been hit. All right. So how many people took that NASDAQ trade? How many people took that NASDAQ trade? Okay, guys, my group is going nuts right now for that NAS trade. They loved it. Okay, it was very good. Perfect, guys. Awesome. Okay, so guys, don't get greedy now, right? These things, they don't always run forever. They don't always run forever, okay? I land nice, buddy. 16 pips, beautiful. So now we're about three minutes floating. About three minutes floating. <laughs> absolutely dogs got to be let out more okay so let's check out gu you can see the gu's trying it's finding a little bit of support here okay finding a little bit of support so we now need to see if price is going to start to walk down or if it's going to get a little bit of retracement back up for maybe touching the nine and then we'll see what's going to happen here but price is still having that overall sell continuation okay let's check out gold Okay, this is gold. You can see that it's trying to push up again. Okay, pretty crazy. All right, pretty crazy to see that gold is getting really high wicks, guys. Really high wicks right here. So just be mindful of gold. Gold does what it wants. All right. Okay, so gold, you can see, starting to try to run a little bit. So the thing with gold, guys, you can see the wicks. They push it up, push it down, push it up, push it down, all right? That's to kind of head fake the buyers or sellers by the overall trade. Gold is some of the most volatile, volatile, uh, I guess you could say, uh, security to trade, or not security, sorry, commodity, all right? So you can see right here that finally it's been rejected uh, once, twice, three four and now it's attempting to break through from the fifth time okay it's attempting to break through on the fifth time so guys uh is there anyone in gold is anyone just focused on gold today uh, i didn't get in on the gold trade i'm in gu okay and i took a little bit of nasdaq The roller coaster ride, exactly, Alan. Uh, exactly, guys. Okay, there's your eventual push. All right, so just take some time. So remember, guys, if you're in gold. You're going to have to hold it. Remember, gold makes nice moves. But if you caught that nice little break, all right, from there to there, you're looking at about six pips, okay? This is around the 10 pip mark up here, all right? We're just at six right now, okay? So remember, we talked about the retest. There's that retest. You can see it pushed. There's the bottom wick. Let's see now if price is going to start to go back up, all right? There it is. There it is, guys, starting to run. I'm going to delete that for now. You can see there was the retest. See how it pushed up right here, it retested, that was the bottom wick, and then it reversed. Sorry, then it had its overall continuation and it ran about 10 pips, guys. Ran about 10 pips, all right? 
guys for GBPUSD. Um, one second here. Okay, so you can see that gold is now pushing to around that six pit mark. Okay, around that six pit mark. Let's go check out NASDAQ for one second here. So remember we talked about uh, that quick little scalp. You can't hold a lot of the times. Uh, the indices are volatile, guys. Same with gold. So you got to get these trades, like I said, boom. You got to take your profit. If not, you can see it starting to reverse and run. All right. So just be mindful of this. Be very, very mindful. back to gold for a sec. Okay, a little bit of a bearish pin bar. It's turning into a, like a, yeah, bearish pin bar here. So let's watch and see what's going to happen. Yeah, gold did hit TP, guys, for the second one even for about 10 pips. Okay. Let's check out GU. So remember I told you guys this might be, like I said, near the end of it. So just wait for the retest. Okay, so you have a breakdown. Exactly, you have a retest. And then we're going to see if it's going to have a continuation. This is just going to make lower lows. All right. And you can see that price is very, it's oversold here. So you got to have some kind of reversal starting to happen at some point. Okay, some kind of reversal happening at some point. So let's watch and see. And this could be short-lived, guys. This could be short-lived. Remember, it's 8 o'clock now. All right, this is where your potential reversals can happen. So if you guys are in GU, guys, just be mindful. Price can start to flip. Go maybe a little bit bullish here. All right. Let's check out gold again. So GU, guys, just mark and remind and be mindful of GU. Okay, there's gold. How many people took the gold buys, guys? How many people took gold buys? Okay, there it is. It's running, guys. If you run it, if you're closing it, that's okay. Just be mindful. Holding, good, good, good. Okay, so gold is back to running about 10 pips. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm, about 11 pips now, okay. Right up here looking at 15 pips, guys. So let's watch and see. Uh, the order did hit on retest. Rampton, the retest is right here. Okay, so that's a retest, and I just mentioned that before. This is a perfect break and retest confirmation trade. Okay, so just hit second roughly TP, guys. See roughly how many pips that would be before it's overall sell off. Look at about 13. Okay, so nice move here. Let's watch and see how much continuation we're going to get or if we're going to start to get some selling pressure here.
Okay, so we'll check out NASDAQ too. So there's your break, guys. There's your, uh, oh, no, sorry, not your break. There's your attempt to break, sorry, the nine moving average. All right, selling off here, pushing to the upside, looking at getting near that nine moving average. You can see that if it gets rejected here, guys, it's going to start to fall back down. All right, this is why it's nice to use as support and resistance. So it's doing exactly what I mentioned what it would do, starting at looking to sell. Okay, so let's watch and see how far this is going to go. Okay, back to gold. And that's why you take profit, guys. This is scalping 101. All right, ran 50, 13 pips, then it has some rejection here, okay? Boom, TP, then remove, all right? So price didn't make it all the way up there for now. It got rejected, okay? Got some rejection. Okay, let's check with GU. Okay, you can see that GBPUSD guy is starting to have some sort of reversal here. Pushing up, acting, getting some resisted by the nine moving average. You can see we have a short term uptrend here starting to form. All right, let's watch and see how far if this is gonna last. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. So you can see GU is still dumping down in there. A lot of us made the fatal mistake in exiting GU early yesterday. If you guys remember that, <laughs> that was some fun stuff. Okay, but it really, really sold off. Um, now we're going to watch and see if price is going to sell or if we're going to get a nice continuation. You can see it already is selling roughly for about one to two pips, but it is at a steady little downtrend here, maybe making a nice little bounce. So it's roughly, it ran about four pips. Now it's at break even, okay? And uh, you can see that the price it made a nice little bounce right at that five minute uptrend here that's starting to walk, all right? So let's go check out NASDAQ. Still waiting, guys. Okay, so a little slower right now. We've got our nice little dump and then it pumped. Let's go back to gold. Okay, so again, you can see that gold is engulfing all this previous can this candle right here. Okay, if <laughs> this is coming right back down to entry, guys. So just remember, don't be afraid to get out if you guys didn't take your profit out there. If gold wants to tap and bounce off the overall nine moving average, then you have your overall continuational move. All right, but you can still see this is heavy, heavy selling pressure now. <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy selling pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over just a little bit more. If price wants to break down here, guys, um, I'm looking for the, to fill this bottom wick right here. Remember we talked about uh, filling up wicks, all right? So it would be down here for me roughly to this area right here, okay? I know it's a far move, very far move, but again, I need time to see a break through the moving average, start to slice down, and then we'll watch and see how far gold can get to, okay? I spent four signal clubs for 300 USD in trades results. I lost all my capital. That tends to happen, guys. Uh, a lot of these groups, uh, they're hiding behind their screens, okay? And they show no live trading of how they're taking their trades or what they're doing, anything. That's why everyone gets burned on a lot of these, okay? So just be aware of that. Okay, so now you can see it's about 8.15, guys. So around 8.30, we can expect a bigger move from gold, okay? So this is the 1807's the layer target. 
all right? And then our overall target for, if it kept going bullish, guys, is 1810. That was our original target. Okay, so gold is starting to rise again. Found some support right here. This is why I use this. And now it's starting to walk to the outside. Pimple popper. Uh, if you want to start your FTMO during our calls, yeah, absolutely. Go check out the FreeFX group. We just had uh, one of our guys pass his FTMO challenge, I think, in or MFF in like one or two days. Okay, so gold is starting to rise. So the stop loss on this, guys, remember, that it only made it down to about five pips. Remember, as I told you, remember the stop loss? It roughly rate right abound this area right here, 1806. So if you did not TP, guys, take profit, you're actually still in some pips here, all right? But uh, just remember that uh, have your overall stop loss, maybe move it up higher and higher because you don't want to give lose a lot, all right, just to make a little bit, okay? You don't want to lose a lot to make a little bit. Okay, so let's check out GU. There we go, guys. GU's trying to make a nice little bullish attempt to break. Remember how it's holding that five-minute uptrend here. Okay, it's holding that five-minute uptrend. <clears throat> but let's see. Remember, if we put on our exponential moving average, you can see we're heavily below it now. Okay, so is price going to get rejected and continuing in selling pressure? Maybe as a swing trade? Sorry, guys. Or is price going to just, you know, reverse back up and tap the supply? All right, that's what we need to watch and monitor. Is there any GBP USD news coming up? Uh, nope. We have 9.12, 9.30, and 10. Okay. 10 a.m., guys. Mr. Powell is speaking. So there's NASDAQ. Okay. Still holding below 15.682. All right, still holding below. Hey guys, there's about a hundred, almost 700 people on here and I got about 300 in the Zoom. Okay, if you guys wouldn't mind just liking the YouTube channel, it's uh, it just helps with the algo and the growth of the channel. We are adding about a hundred subscribers a day Okay, we'll be at 23 hopefully by like maybe the end of the week. Um, so, and that just gets us more pumped to trade live, guys. It just gets pumped more at trading live and to release some new content for you. Okay, we do have some stuff that we're going to show you. Some, uh, like I said, some trading tips, some strategies, different things like that. Um, we're developing new content ourselves. Okay, so I'm really excited to be uh, showing that case when the website gets launched. And... Uh, it's going to be exciting, guys, and we're going to focus a lot on how we trade, okay? What we have uploaded right now is very good for beginners, but the more advanced stuff comes when you're looking at trading indices, gold, stuff like we're doing daily. How do you know what to look for? What do you look for? Different things like that. We're going to be uploading and doing some things just for you guys so you can watch how we trade, and so you can kind of get the grip on what we look for, different things like that, different key points, okay? When do you get in a NAS for a sell? Okay, good call. The NAS sell was over here. Okay, that's just riding in the cell before it overall break into the next, uh, next area, which will be either bullish or bearish, okay? Bullish or bearish. So you can see it's holding true on the 9, all right? Which means holding true is resisting the 9, so we can see it's maybe starting to sell off, okay? Check out our gold trade. Gold is forming an indecision right now. Okay, indecision. I'm going to just erase this because we don't always need this. One second here. Okay, 
So you can see a little bit of doji on gold, but now you can see it's getting resisted and rejected so far at roughly 1808.29. 1808.29. So that's why you exit gold, guys. You can see you have the engulfing candlestick here. Okay, 1807, 1808 area was definitely a clear area of resistance. A lot of sellers were on gold. You can see that price now broke below that 200 moving average. All right, and we're just gonna have to wait for these trades to kind of fruition now. Oops, sorry about that. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay, let's check out NASDAQ. Yeah, NASDAQ is slowly selling off here too, guys. Okay, nice little sell opportunity. Okay, so remember, I told you, anything below 15.682, I don't need to really tell you to sell. Okay, you can see that it's nice selling pressure here based on the nine moving average, all right? Uh, I wouldn't be trading if you guys did take that, maybe about five, six pips, okay? Look at the time, 8.22, okay? Personally, I'm waiting as well. Uh, I'm looking at GBPUSD. I want to see what's going to happen on GU, okay? And I'm looking at obviously US 30. So you can see with GU, we have an engulfing candlestick starting to form, okay? Leading into overall stock continuation, okay? GU, the seasonality of this might be uh, an interesting, an interesting thing coming to uh, coming to light. Uh, and there's another term for you guys: seasonalities. You guys probably have no idea. <clears throat> members don't worry this is what the new content is going to be talking about seasonalities different types of things that you guys have probably never heard okay so with that being said look at GU you have an engulfing candlestick all right now you have your nice sell term uh, short-term sell breaking that five-minute uptrend all right Nice little sell pressure here, guys. Nice little sell pressure. Okay. So let's check out, uh, go to gold, see how much selling pressure we got. There you go. Okay, so the only thing that I'm worried about right now is if gold is going to sell past 1806, okay, is this 200 exponential moving average, all right? And uh, you can see the reason I'm not putting any support resistance, look at right here, okay? Drag this across. This area was filled with buying, okay? Was filled with buying. All right, so if you're gonna downtrend scalp, okay? If price makes it down there, you're looking for a max, maybe like 10 pips, okay? And it's gonna be at the top of this demand area. But price is not even really making it down there. Look at this, okay? Look at this top wick. Nothing can be done, you know what I mean? It's uh, a lot of erratic behavior. And uh, this could be a stop loss hunt, guys, before our gold actually makes a nice little push to the upside. All right. See how they pushed it right above that nine. And guys, the moving averages are so basic, right? If anyone is claiming that this is like the end all be all strategy. Uh, it's not necessarily true. These are used, uh, it's a lagging indicator, okay? It's <laughs> it's lagging. If you don't know how to read candlesticks and you don't know live price in terms of patterns and how price reacts based on the certain, you know, say commodity, indice, pair, uh, or even stock, you guys are gonna have a hard time, okay? Like a very hard time um, reading price, but uh, you just use moving averages kind of like a little bit of a crutch uh, for a moving support and resistance. Okay, a moving support and resistance. Okay, well, four minutes and 25 seconds left. So you can see that gold made a nice little bottom wick. Okay, nice little bottom wick right here, all right? 
Uh, eventually, this might fill. Okay, I don't know if it'll fill right now because you can see it's flipping bullish. <laughs> this is gold for you, erratic behaviors. Okay, if you're having a 20 pip stop loss, all right, that ran uh, 14 pips. Okay, so that wasn't even 20. Down here, you're looking at around 20 pips, guys. 20 pips is not bad for a stop loss. 10 pips is even better, obviously, but 20 pips gives the trade room to breathe, and that makes you use a smaller lot size as well, uh, so you can get nice little reversals. If, like I said, you were still holding that buy. If not, you might have been tapped out, okay? Or you might have been tapped out at break even, depending on it. But, like I said, that's why you need to understand your style of trading, okay? You need to understand your risk. Your risk might be different from my risk. It might be different from Jed's risk. It might be different from Jen's risk. You know what I mean? All different types of risk, all right? So let's go check out maybe GU. We'll go look at... Uh, NASDAQ as well first. We'll go check it out. So check out NAS. It is still in that nice steady sell continuation. All right. Okay, but it's getting some support now. You can see that price. Starting to walk. Okay, I'll erase that text in a second here. You can see in terms of right there. All right. Just grab that there. I'll erase that. Okay, so that's why you're getting a little bit of bounce. See how it tried to sell off, push back up, held, holding here, tried to sell and held, and now we're going possibly bullish here on NASDAQ. Okay. If that's the case. I'm looking at having a nice little opportunity right here. All right. So patience is the key now, guys. Patience is the key. That's all we need to watch. It is the clock, okay? What time is it? It's coming into 828. 828, guys. Okay, guys, give me two seconds here. I got to go let the pooch in, okay? Trades have been going good so far. The only one that's been kind of sporadic is um, GU, okay? But remember, GU trends. And yesterday we had massive movements. I always find on Tuesdays, GU's a little bit slower. Monday always has nice moves. Tuesday's a little bit slower. But again, like I said, it trends. So guys, give me two seconds here. Watch NASDAQ, all right? And uh, just got to let the poochie in, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, there we go. GU dropping, guys. Let's watch for GU. Remember, we had that engulfing candlestick. Let's see if it's going to follow through. There you go, guys. Okay, so GU is starting to fall again. Below the 200, okay, holding below that 9 moving average. 
Let's see how far we're going to get to the drop. Okay. little slow today all right and uh, remember now it's coming into 830 okay so let's go check out gold for a sec okay I'm thinking that gold might try to fill this wick but we'll watch and see here okay <coughs> the support we have uh, really nice support is roughly right around this area you can see by the bottom wicks right here okay I know the charts getting a little messy now so just be aware that if you can't read it guys just stay true and just watch the channel Maybe by the end of it, you'll understand, okay? Okay, so. Okay, remember we talked about filling that wick, guys. about two minutes and 40 seconds so you guys caught the sell there it's looking good all right this should have been moved up there but obviously it wasn't the only reason why I did not move it there is because look what happened once previous okay <coughs> if it sold it's like I said you caught it congratulations all right we had the initial buy this sell this sell is gonna fill this wick if it wants to continue okay now like I said I didn't feel comfortable putting it there Simply because what happens if a bunch of people start selling, okay, and then it pushes right back up, all right, you know. Um, we're going to watch and see if it's going to break structure. That's what we need to watch. So we broke. I just erase this so it's not too, too much on the charts. Okay, fully, completely filling this wick, all right. Let's go check out GU now. A little bit of a bounce, guys. You can see that the buyers are holding strong in this area so far. Okay, so far. Overall trend is bearish. Let's see if we're going to get overall trend. Let's take a look on the 15 minute. How does GBP USD look on the 15? You can see it just started to break that overall moving average. So, generally, when we're around the moving average, like I said, it does consolidate. So, don't be surprised if you see price maybe barcode before having its overall next direction. Okay which could be, like I said, a continuation, or you have your nice bullish reversal, which we'll be ready for, okay? Right, so you can tell by the wick too. Bottom wick, the next wick is actually higher than this previous wick. Okay, <coughs> sorry about that. Now price is pushing up and trying to get into be around these wicks right here, but you can see the selling pressure is very very strong. Okay, so how far are we going to get? Is price going to continue to really sell off? Let's watch. Okay, I'm going to just have an alarm right here tapped. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Right. and let's go check out NASDAQ okay so remember we talked about NASDAQ making a nice potential reversal here this is it all right did not make it down here started to push back up push right above that five minute uptrend okay now it's pushing above the nine moving average you can see this all right so let's watch and see if price is going to go bull or if it's going to hold strong below this 15682 like it's doing guys this is tried to break here once two three four five six seven eight Okay, so let's try to break bullish eight times, and eventually it probably will because they're attempting it so many times, but if the sellers are just going to hold strong and true, you can see the selling pressure is going to continue to the downside, okay? <clears throat> All right, guys, so here's the gold sell, okay? Remember, I'm looking to fill this wick right here, okay? Looking to fill this wick right here. 
So just be prepared, guys. If price gets on this 200 and it reverses, okay, this is a quick scalp. Is this a very good R to R trade? Not precisely 100%, but again, that's why you don't use large lots. Very small, looking for about 10 pips. 10 pips is right around here, okay, right around in this demand, short term demand area. <coughs> if you don't feel like taking this trade, don't take it. There's no one saying you need to take this trade. Guys, I have two brokers, okay, Fusion Markets, and I use um, Global Prime for the other one, okay? <clears throat> so that's what I told you guys. Selling, not the best R to R here, not the best setup trade just yet, okay? The better one was right up here, but you can see that price is still selling off. There is an engulfing candlestick here, and the sell pressure is strong. So let's see, and we'll just watch and monitor gold, how far it'll drop. I am going to just mark an area right there and I'm going to add an alert just to see if we do get to this overall area okay flip to GU still selling pressure there okay Okay, guys, one second. Okay, there's GBPUSD. Guys, I'm in GU right now. Okay, I got a two lot. All right, I'm up about 42 bucks, two pips. Let's see how far we're gonna go. G wants to break here, guys. Just the tr it's the trend. Remember, G is trendy. It's going to drop here, and that's what we're looking at next target. Okay, Nasdaq's attempting to dump. Let's check out Nas. There you go, guys. Okay, remember I told you if it held below 15682, you're going to get a sell. There's your sell. All right. Let's check out GU now. GU's dumping too. All right. <clears throat> GBPUSD, guys, from entry is running currently 7 pips. Okay. This area right in here at the low is around your 10 pip mark, okay? There you go, guys. There's a continuation. Check out gold. There you go, guys. There's your gold. There's your 10 pips. Okay, so this is where you would want to look to snag some partials here. Take the trade. Okay, this is that 10 pip mark. Remember, I told you this was the area right down here, around 8 pips, not even 10. Okay, around 8. Okay, now you're seeing the reversal here just because of the moving average. All right, so gold is selling off. NAS is selling off. Okay, NASDAQ is sexy, guys. NASDAQ is sexy. Look at this. Overall entry, nothing broke above. Things run about 38, 40 pips.
Okay, look at this nice, beautiful cell. Okay, guys, I would be looking to take some profit on this if you're in there. Look at gold, it's trying to continue down. <clears throat> you can see it's getting reversed just simply because of that overall structure right there, okay? Gold is iffy, NASDAQ was better, GU was better, okay? Check out GU. Okay, there we go, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, there you go. You have your overall continuation cell here. There we go, guys. GBPUSD is beautiful. Nine pips, roughly 10 pips. Taps here, it's 10. There's gold. Let's check out CGU, guys. Just hit 10 pips. Okay, beautiful cell continuation. Gold is sinking, guys. Okay, so this is the area. There's 10 pips. So if you're still in gold, just be aware. You see that quick flick? All right, this is running 10 pips, guys. So 10 pips on gold, 10 pips on GBPUSD. NASDAQ is still running. Look at NASDAQ, guys. NASDAQ is running. All right. Guys. What trade are you in, and are you in some profit here? Look at NASDAQ. It was beautiful, guys. NASDAQ was beautiful. Look at that. Nice continuation dump here. Look at this dump. Coming right back down to here. Last nine trades, all blues. Beautiful. Nice. I know you're trading some oil, too. But uh, let's hopefully you got some nice NAS, GU, or gold, okay? There's GU, guys, still dumping. There you go, there's GBP. Running about 12 pips, okay? Guys, if you took any of the trades, put in the chat on either YouTube or Zoom what you took, okay? Let me know what you took. There's GU guys hitting third target here, okay? Hitting third target. GBPUSD is running 13 pips. Okay, 13 pips. Okay, let's check out NASDAQ. See, NASDAQ is still trying to dump, guys. Perfect sell pressure on NAS, leading for, remember the five minute uptrend here? That was the break. Okay, now be aware that this 200 could push price back up a little bit before having its overall demise and sink. Okay, it did pierce below it. I'm looking right here, okay? Watch now for the reverse, and we're going to see if it's going to dump or if it's going to have a continuation, guys. So just a case in point, <clears throat> if you're in NASDAQ, look at taking your profit, okay? Okay, remember I talked about gold, guys. That was the bounce area, okay? You have the bounce out of demand, okay? Now you have their walk. This was a crispy 10 pips, but then it's shot up, all right? This is the quick fullness and the erratic activity, uh, the erratic behavior of gold, okay? <coughs> Sorry, guys.
Okay, that's gold. Goldilocks. There's GU starting to have a little reversal, guys. 846. Okay, 846. Remember, we're coming into 9 o'clock. I am going to just erase that and move this over here. Guys, okay, so if you're in GBP USD, guys, look to secure some partials here. I exited, all right? It was a nice trade for me. All right, I'm happy with it. So let's just now watch and look for the next one, okay? What's up with gold? I think that is the most common question I get on this channel. <laughs> like for real, not trying. To <laughs> What's up with gold? Okay, so I want to see if GU is going to get some resistance here or if it's going to get some nice continuation movement. Elaine, beautiful, buddy. Beautiful. Elaine cashed around 300 on US, uh, sorry, on GU cells, okay? Now, this is why I'm telling you guys to get out. Look at the reversals that's starting to happen on GU. <coughs> sorry, guys. Okay, let's check out gold. See the bounce? Okay, starting to walk. As is. NAS is bouncing. Okay, guys, this one has got to be expected, okay, because that's rated right to 200. So you could have had, a like, a buy limit waiting there. Okay, we didn't have it. We are still watching price. If you had it, if you're fast enough, you could have bought it, and then you'd be up. Maybe about, you know, 15 pips, depending. Okay, but it's all depending on what happens, all right? And it's all to deal with price. Price action trumps all, okay? So I'm going to have to update this. I'm going to move this over here, guys. Just delete all this. We'll update this accordingly when we're more near market open, which is going to be in about ooh, 40 minutes. Okay, let's check out GU. You can see now we have an engulfing candlestick on GBPUSD, okay? This is an engulfing candlestick on GBPUSD. Twenty seconds here. I want to see what's going to happen with this overall candle close and the next one opens up. Okay. Guys, and you can, like I said, you can use the three MA, you can use whatever you want, guys. These indicators are lagging. Okay. So you guys gotta understand, if you don't understand price and it takes some time to memorize or realize what price actually is, uh, you know, a lot of people use it as a crutch and then they'll get burned on them because they don't know how to use them properly, right? I still get people all the time asking how to use moving averages when I say it every single day. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just because they haven't processed it in their mind yet, right? I still get head faked out on it, but the winning percentage of using an MA based on the strategy that I, <clears throat> that I have, uh, it's not bad. And it's not even really a strategy. It's just support and resistance, okay? So... You can see now that it's trying to flip bullish here, okay? It's getting held below 35715. And this price tag right here, guys, remember, this is a general area, okay? I'm on FXCM on trading view. It could be a little bit different on your MT4, okay? I guarantee it, it could be a couple points off, right? But just keep in mind that a little bit different. So the general areas, general areas, okay? Guys, <clears throat> one thing also... Um, if you guys are putting in the chat, uh, like who bought this or who bought that, it's because you're not confident in your trading, okay? It's because you're not confident in your trading, right? 
people who buy and sell, they don't always really tell people, okay? Like I tell my group because they want to know, and same with our other admins. But if you guys are getting uh, nervous about your entries, you just got to practice more or lower your lot size so you're not worried. So you're not worried. A lot of people who ask that, who's in there, who's doing what, this and that, it's because they're over leveraging and they don't want to make a mistake. All right. So there's your sell continuation on NASDAQ, guys. Jill Aruga. What's going on, big man? My man, Jill Aruga, where are you from, big man? Hopefully you're not a lady. I will feel really bad. <laughs> Look at Nas, that guy is still selling. Bradley, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely. But uh, you can see, just double click on it here. That's the way she looks. Guys, so is there anyone in any trades? Because in about um, eight minutes, I'm going to take a two-second break. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to chart the dirty 30. Just want to check how many likes we're rolling with right now. 358, guys. Wow, you guys are the best. Honestly, I know I only asked for 300, okay? And it's just because it helps with the algo, all right? So... Bradley, I use both, honestly. Seriously, dude, both. If you're looking for um, the second one you mentioned, okay, that's for more of faster term, okay? It's got a little quicker acting average in there, all right? Okay, GU's still trying to get a little bit of bounce. All right, so it's a little bit of a bounce here. Mr. Rob Mack, I like what he said. Uh, I learned with smaller lots to get accustomed to the movement of the market. It took some time, but was worth it. My man Rob maybe did a $100 account and worked with that for a year. Yakov, what's going on, big man? Look at the NASDAQ sell, guys. Is anyone still holding NASDAQ? Okay, perfect. Guys, who's in? Uh, who's been profitable today about making some pips? Who's been profitable today making some pips? Perfect, guys. Wow, my man. Suji, what's going on? My man, Peter Parker. You guys didn't know we got Spider-Man in the group, eh? He slings pips with his webs. My word, he's up about two Gs for today. <clears throat> Nice, guys. Okay, so coming up in about four minutes, guys, like I said, I'm going to take a two-second break. We're going to chart US 30, okay, and then we're going to focus on just monitoring all the trades, okay, um, and then we'll look at possibly most likely trading US 30 market open or NASDAQ, whichever one looks better, okay? So GU can see, nice little pullback here, and then you have your resistance so far on the nine moving average, okay?
Jamal Tillman. Yeah, buddy, I see that too. Good eye. Let's check out gold here. So there's gold, guys. It's starting to reverse again. All right, you can see the selling pressure is real. Um, I'm not in this trade, okay? Like I said, I was mostly focused on GU. I'm good. Took a little bit of NASDAQ. All right, now 8.56. I'm not doing anything until the pretty much 9.30, okay? Guys, if you want to um, join us daily, okay? Uh, pretty much what we're doing is we go every day at like 7, 7.30 a.m., okay? All right, and then we do this daily, guys. And our other Zooms, like I said, we do London and Tokyo. We do webinars. Um, London is pretty fire, guys. Today, uh, Ron needed a little bit of a break. All right, didn't sleep too much. Um, but trust me, we do five, pretty much usually almost every day, five London, or not every day, <laughs> every week, five London sessions per week. All right, and uh, <laughs> everyone's son, uh, everyone's session is London, guys. London session is one of the best sessions you can trade. All right. Raj Pete, we're not doing GJ. If you want GJ, I know there's plenty of other phenomenal traders out there on YouTube who will gladly look to get you into trades on GJ, okay? I don't know if you guys realize this, but the stats on GJ were released, and it's one of the most commonly failed pairs to trade on. That's just, uh, and that's one of the prop firm statistics. Okay, so if they're releasing statistics and you're trading the statistic that says giving you the worst return, my suggestion is probably look for something else to trade unless you've mastered the way it works, which uh, is, in my opinion, physically impossible because uh, you can't master really anything. Okay, in terms of trading, you can look for a, a decent percentage, that's it, but there's no mastering. So if you guys are trading GJ, understand put in the work to learn it if not it's the most commonly failed pair to trade all right and i bet you um everyone is going to start to agree or disagree with me on youtube but that's okay i want people to understand that uh it is okay because it's a very hard pair to trade okay And when we meet hard guys, like anyone can trade anything on 30 minute or 15 minute. I'm talking about scalping. You know my time frame and Ron's time frame is five minute. Five minute. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, Nino, that's an inaccurate statement. Well, I don't know how it's inaccurate when it was posted by the prop firm for uh, an actual statistic, but you know what I mean? I guess it's inaccurate. I guess one of the biggest prop firms in, in the world is in, in releasing inaccurate statistics. Okay, so look at NASDAQ. I'm still looking beautiful below the 200. Getting some nice sell pressure here. NASDAQ is still dropping, guys. So remember, this is why you want to join on a little bit ahead of time. Because, like, we don't... I'm not looking at scalping reversals like this. Like, this is not something I want to scalp. All right? I'm looking to get into a nice trade. Let it run. And you can see NASDAQ is running about 75 pips. 75 pips. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at GU. I haven't looked at that in a little bit. Okay. Looking at 9 o'clock now, all right? Take a look at GBPUSD. All right, so you can see it made a nice little push movement here. Now you're getting that nine moving average still holding GU potentially down, or it's going to get the volume to start to push up, okay? You can see the bottom wick here is starting to rise, all right? So that's a good sign for the buyers. So guys, if you're in on this, this could be a short term. Remember, the overall trend is bearish. <laughs> GU trend is bearish. 
uh, on the higher time frame. Okay, so if you're looking for the gold reversal, you're looking for maybe 5, 10, 15 pips before maybe the sellers take control over again. Unless, guys, unless this is actually going to be the reversal that is going to give you the nice conversion from lower lows to lower highs to higher highs and higher lows. Okay, and there's your gold, guys. Gold is dropping. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a two second break here. Uh, I'm going to chart US 30 when we get back. Okay. And then uh, we're going to look at charting, uh, touching up NASDAQ. All right. And then uh, trading the market open. So, guys, if you want to take a two second break, all right. If you want to take a two second break, uh, just remember that, uh, you know what I mean? We'll be back in two seconds. But if you guys caught those gold cells, all right. You guys caught those gold cells. It's uh, you're running in hard profits. Okay, right there to there. I didn't take like I said, but that's roughly 20 pips. Okay, roughly almost 25 pips now with a full fill, and you can see it's starting to sell off. All right, it broke the 200. As soon as it breaks the 200, that's when you get your overall nice continuation movements. All right, overall target on the sell you're looking at right down here. All right, 1802.17. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a two second break. I'll be right back. I'm, I don't want to leave on gold just because the chart's not there. Let's watch NASDAQ. It's a little more cleaner. All right, you can see that it's steadily dropping. We're going to see how far it's going to drop, maybe around here. All right, if it's going to continue to sell, it's looking very beautiful. Okay, so let's watch and see. Here are your next targets if it's going to continue. And then you have a higher time frame target of. <laughs> one five 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 all right so let's watch and see take a two second break guys we'll be right back charting us 30 looking for trade at market open okay two seconds guys take a break see you soon
All right, guys, there we go. There we go. Let's get back. All right, you can see the NASDAQ. <coughs> NASDAQ is still selling off, okay? Perfect sell opportunity for NASDAQ, 15682. So let's adjust this stuff accordingly. There we go. And we'll get set up a little bit closer to market open, okay? Just give me one second here. we go Perfect, guys. So now, all right. Okay, guys, so let's get down to business and let's do some top down on US 30. Erase the averages and we'll go from the daily. Anita, okay. Okay, guys, so let's get down to some business here. Look at that big wick on US 30, guys. Okay, we might be able to fill that wick. So let's watch and see. You can see that price is starting to get some resistance here. Okay. So I'm looking at gathering. You can see that we go right across here. This is an area of demand. Okay. All right. We have a short-term area of supply. Well, not a short-term, but a big area of supply right up here, which is the high. This is the high, and now you have some selling pressure here. All right. Probably not going to make it back up there, but uh, you can see that that is an area of clear rejection. Okay, so let's now gather our information. All right, and then we have a clear area of support right here on the daily. Looking for US 30. Perfect. So we're going to drop it now down to the four hour. All right. Have another area of support that we're currently coming to right now. All right. You can see that price tried to push, pull. Now you're getting the resistance here on the four hour, guys. All right. So this might look a little bit different on the hourly, but we're going to trap it. All right. And then drop down to the hourly and see how she looks. If we dump here, guys, if we dump here on US 30, she's going to start to fall back down, all right, like harsh, all right, but if we hold support here, you can see by all the support, all right, you can maybe make a nice little bounce to the upside. We got to watch them. The seasonality of it is very, uh, very serious with indices, so we might be getting that full retracement, um, but we have to watch. We just have to watch, and if price comes down here, we know that there's going to be a nice area of support before breaking in the demand. So let's drop it down to the 30 minute. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to gather some resistance here on the 30, on the dirty. Perfect. Let's drop it now down to the 15. Gather that top wick. All right, getting a little bit of a flip bull momentum here. I want to gather this big wick, uh, sorry, this big candle here on, uh, let's see what it's looking like on the 10. There we go. And then we're looking good. Okay. So 
there's another key area right there that I like, which is holding some support. Um, I'll drop down to the 5 and see how that looks. Right there. Okay. I know it's a line close to another, but if I were to drag this across, you can see that it's acting as nice support. All right, and breaking, retesting, resistance, now selling off. Okay. Gather some trap now. Looking for the eventual breakout of US 30. So, guys, we've got everything pretty much charted. Okay, NASDAQ is dropping. I'm not surprised, guys. NASDAQ is dropping. I'm not surprised at all. All right, I am going to just quickly look over here, jump down to three minutes. key next area here. Okay, back to the five. Now we have US 30 charted top down all the way to the five minute, okay? So it's only 913, all right, it's 913. There is a lot of selling pressure on US 30. Let's throw on our moving averages. All right. And let's wait and see what price is gonna do. You can see it made a death cross right here, which is why the nice bull, or sorry, the bear momentum had it pushed all the way down. Okay. Dave made one, uh, Santa Cruz, thank you, Dave, made 1.5 today on your on my challenge account off your confirmations on NAS that were in confluence with my bias. Good. Absolutely, Santos. That's huge, man. 1.5K. That's a big day. That's a very big day. All right. So US 30 now, pretty much done. Let's go monitor the trades. <coughs> sorry about that. You can see that gold is still dropping. Uh, sorry, not dropping, but it's making a nice reversal here from 1802 point, roughly 17, roughly the 1802 area, okay? So we gotta expect a nice little bounce movement just based on the overall sell pressure on gold, okay? You gotta expect the reversal a little bit. It's cooling off, okay? If price of gold is going to start to sell and continue, it's got to get past 1802, and the higher time frame support will be down here. Okay, you're obviously going to get some kind of momentum, maybe reverse around in this area right here, judging by everything on the left. But uh, that'll be the overall next next big target if price is going to sell off. Okay, Let's check out GBP. So GU ran, all right, and then uh, it had the resistance. You have now can see a bearish engulfing candlestick. Okay, forming right through the nine, but then it pushed right back up. So when it push back up, you now have your EMA starting to hold support, and we're going to look to see if we're going to get a maybe a reversal or if price is going to dangle right through here and shoot back down. Okay, and I'm looking this as guys because GU has not gone out of the trade. Okay, what I can see is it's still in there. It made about roughly uh, about half a pip, maybe a pip near the stop loss. Okay, or sorry, near the entry. And uh, it's still down there. So if you guys are still in GBP USD, just just keep in mind that it is starting to rise a bit. But there is some sellers starting to come in. You can see by this overall sell momentum candle, which is your engulfing, which is your most powerful candle. Okay. So Nasdaq is still selling. There you go. Remember, I told you look, roughly target of five five eight zero. Now we're looking at triple fives, or sorry, quadruple fives for target. All right, this is what it looks like right here. So I need to get ready for market open, guys. All right, so let's get some text going on here. Okay, pretty straightforward, guys. If you're new, don't be holding trades through 9.30. Just suggestion, wait 10 to 15 minutes post-market to settle, and don't over-leverage, okay? Pretty straightforward, all right? Go over this every day almost. Okay, so now it's just repetitive, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing for US 30. Okay. 
looking for the overall breaks okay so look at us 30 guys you can see that it has support here all across the board all right it's coming into that area again with support you can see now starting to sell off this area right here um it's 917 so you can see this area this is supposed to be green okay all right this area is green every time it comes here prices push ups okay US 30, we're coming into 918. Let's go monitor the other trades leading into 925. Let's go check out GU. Okay, GU starting to make that bounce. All right. Holding that nine still, okay. It's about a minute and 12 seconds. I want to wait and see how GU closes on this trade. All right. And then we'll look at uh, looking at the 920 candle, maybe flipping to gold, checking out NASDAQ as well again. Forty-eight seconds. All right. Okay. So twenty-eight seconds left. I think Nasdaq just hit target, so I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to forward to Nas. We get Nasdaq guys just tap there. There you go. Live guys, live. Okay. Hundred pips. It's running a hundred and seven pips right now. Okay, look. It's running hundred and eleven. And it actually ran hundred and twenty. Okay. Mark, we'll get you in, buddy. Don't worry. Just because we're doing the upgrades to the website, we're putting everything in manually right now. All right, so we'll be in contact with everyone who joins. No issues there, all right? Okay, about four minutes left here. This is the 920 candle, okay? So let's go check out maybe gold. I know a lot of gold diggers are in here. So there's your reversal, okay? Remember, it broke had your death cross and now gold is starting to push back up all right coming back up maybe touching 1804 okay if it does want to break through the nine moving average it's going to have nice volume all right and then you have your overall 200 right there okay so let's watch and see adjust that accordingly there we go Uh, we're not going to trade crypto on this channel right now, guys. Um, we've done it before. Like I said, the spreads for what we do is not what a lot of people can handle. All right. They don't have a good spread on Ethereum, BTC, you know, whatever it is. Their spreads are too high to scalp. I've seen uh, some brokers with a 10 pip spread on Bitcoin. All right. 10 pip spread on Bitcoin. Good luck trying to scalp with that. And I don't mean like good luck as in like you can't do it. You can, but just be prepared to have uh, iffy results. Okay, so this is GU. Guys. This is what I was watching for. You see how GU pushed right back now to 35787? Let's watch and see. It's around that 200 moving average. Okay, and it's around the 9. So let's watch. Okay, NASDAQ. Little bit of a bull momentum now. You got to expect it, guys. Look at the steady selling pressure on NAS. Okay. Steady selling pressure on NASDAQ. Put 
two minutes here, then we're coming into 9.30, sorry, 9.25. Still look like it's selling off here. Don't flip over and check out US 30. Inverse head and shoulder pattern on US 30. Shoulder, head, shoulder here. Okay. Oh, guys, sorry. Someone just messaged me right now. Um, guys, there is... Okay, I don't want to do this. Like, There is a couple scammers out there. All right. Um... I know who they are, all right, so I'm going to be making a post just if someone messaged you about these people, um, just be careful because they do try to take your money, we have reported them, okay, we know who they are, we actually know whereabouts they live, and uh, so if you guys get approached for anything from SST, uh, just please decline that, this was someone, uh, one of our admins just mentioning to you that it was confirmed, so guys, we do have... Um, like I said, someone trying to scam and messaging people, uh, don't respond to anything. We do not personally message you to join any group. If they do, they do make you join a group, guys, and then they get access to a lot more stuff than you'd be reckoned for. So just um, just be mindful of that, okay? Uh, we do know the name. We will be uh, exposing this person on our groups, okay, eventually. But uh, just don't accept anything. Don't do anything like that. It's gonna. It can have a lot of detriment to your account. Okay, not your account, sorry, but your overall phone potentially, um, and your privacy. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, check out gold here real quick. Rejection here, 1804. Okay, 1804. A lot of rejection, guys. And you got to remember, it's below the 200, all right? I've mentioned this before on the call. If you're still new with us, below the 200, guys, usually looking for selling pressure. Above the 200, usually looking for buying dips, all right? Okay, the dirty 30. Let's watch and see. Okay, members, I'm going to put a poll in the group here. <laughs> okay, perfect. Elves, I will, and I know who exactly who it is. So don't worry about that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so let's check out all of our trades here, guys. Okay, you have GU starting to rise, all right? So remember, guys, this is trade is making break even. Ran 10, 12 pips. Now it's at break even now. So you guys would have washed out that trade, all right? Gold, we looked at it. You can see that gold is still in selling pressure here. It did it tapped around higher time frame at 1804.50. Okay, and it sold off. All right. Um, gold is gold. For all the buyers, like I said, remember, watch the 200, whether it's above or below, that's where you look at. Okay. And then we have NASDAQ. Like I said, same, same sort of trades that we've been taking all day. We're gonna make some adjustments now. All right. NASDAQ is short. We're having a continuation down to the downside here, guys. All right. If NAS is long, remember, there's a couple moving averages that's got to get past. Okay. There's a couple moving averages that's got to get past. So just be mindful of this. All right. Same with, so 15614.3 opportunity. 
triple uh, quadruple five point nine. Okay, looks still bearish, guys. We're still below two hundred. Okay, we're still we're oversold on RSI, but market out. Uh, sorry, market open doesn't care. Same with US thirty. Let's get everything set up here. <clears throat> if price wants to dump. All right, sorry. If price wants to pump, my apologies. Okay. Looking at roughly around this area right here. Okay, now this is pushing right near the 200 moving average. Okay, so if you're still iffy on today, guys, just sit back, relax. Don't enter in any trades if you don't want to until maybe 930. Or just don't trade at all. Just watch. Okay, watch the erratic movement of US 30 and NASDAQ. We are going to trade the dirty. All right, we're going to monitor NASDAQ as well. I would not suggest holding any kind of trades. GU, maybe but other than that any indices guys or gold i would not suggest holding through uh market open okay so we have us 30 it's going to be about a minute and 29 until market open okay watch okay about 44 seconds guys 44 seconds let's watch us 30 news is gonna affect guys news is gonna affect Don't enter this in just prematurely, guys. This is what they do. They bait you in. Don't enter in this just yet. Just watch. If it goes in this price, guys, don't trigger this. Erase your buy stop just in case they want to dump it. If you're if they're not and they're just rolling with it, just keep it holding. Okay. Price flag is down here. Okay, it's still very slow. Let's check out NASDAQ. NASDAQ is still in decision here, okay? Still in decision. Okay. I haven't taken anything out. I'm just watching, guys. Just watching. There's the dirty, okay? Looking like it potentially could be a nice little sell opportunity here. Continuation. NASDAQ, let's watch. NASDAQ is hitting, guys. Hit first TP, okay? NASDAQ hit first TP, all right, which is right here. 5522, okay? So now let's watch and see. So let's just mark overall support has been formed. All right, let's go check out US 30. US 30 is trying to break down, guys. Trying to break down. There you go. There's the dirty 30 cell here. Okay, so D Dirty just tap profit, guys. Tap TP, 
from there to there. All right. Did not even go look for buying. Okay, about 40 pips and it's still selling. Massive sells on US 30, guys. Massive sells. Like NASDAQ's the same way. NASDAQ is getting a little bit of pump, a little bit of uh, reverse there. You can see by the top wick. Let's watch and see what's going to happen on NAS, okay? Nice, guys. Took 70 pips. Cat J. Awesome, guys. Don't be buying anything just yet. Remember, it's still the same candle. This candle can open up and go bearish just as fast, okay? Just remember that. Okay, this is NAS. Remember I told you, don't be entering any kind of buys, guys. This is the continuation. This is making lower highs and lower lows. Okay? Almost made a lower high. This is a lower low. So this is the continued selling pressure. Let's check out US 30. Okay, there's the dirty guys. Boom, massive sell right there. Beautiful. Okay. The dirty is dumping. So it's blowing through all potential TPs, guys. Huge sell-off, guys. Huge sell-off. That's an overall TP right there, okay? If it dumps, if it wants to get there, this is where we're going. Three, five, eight, nine, nine. No buys. Okay, massive selling pressure here. Let's go check out NASDAQ. Okay. Look at NAS guys. NAS did not want to break down. Okay. There's a little bit of an inverse head and shoulder on the higher time frame on NASDAQ. All right. Nice little pump on NAS. Okay. The dirty 30, you got to kind of expect the same thing. This might sell off even more. Okay. Let's watch and see on the 15 minute. How does this look? Coming to overall support. All right. Overall support. I remember I told you guys there's a wick on the daily. Exactly. Sorry. I told you that there is a wick on the daily that needs to be filled, and they might be doing that now. Remember? Okay, we talked about this wick right here. Look at how they're starting to fill it. This is premature, guys. This is pretty pretty straightforward. They're going to fill some kind of wick till they get to support. All right? If they don't want to fill it all the way, this is what you're going to have happen now. Okay, you're going to have a little bit of a bounce here, a little bit of reversal. Okay, two minutes and 40 seconds left. Okay, NASDAQ went 
bullish. Okay, watch US 30, guys. Watch US 30 for me. Look at NAS. There's your engulfing candlestick. This is still 935. Okay, so we still, like I said, a little bit of time until price will make its next big moves. But uh, you can see this making nice moves right now in terms of going bullish. All right. There's a head and shoulder pattern on NASDAQ on the higher time frames. Okay, so this could be the potential reversal starting of it. They don't really let NASDAQ dump too far. But again, we can't control anything. We can just watch. All right, that's the key. We can just watch. Did anyone take NASDAQ or US 30? Okay, NAS, let's go see US 30. US 30 is selling, guys. Heavy selling pressure here. Remember we talked about this big wick they got to fill? All right, this is it. They're starting to do it. LNG is up 640 bucks. Nice, guys. Nigel, nice, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. Daniel Brown, perfect, guys. Remember, there's a heavy wick to fall. My man Aaron just took home 3K again. Not a boy. Okay, so just floating around. Perfect, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is just dumping. Okay, NASDAQ, is it dumping or pumping? A lot of rejection here, guys. Remember I told you, quick little scalp on NAS. All right, you can see the 9 is starting to flip it now, okay? Let's watch and see if that was maybe a stop-loss hunt, okay, before making its overall downtrend. But watch price, okay? Five seconds. Dirty is dumping, guys. Look at this thing. This is the TP down here. Perfect, guys. Members are banking here. This is huge. Okay, so now let's watch. Let's watch US 30. <clears throat> two euros to 50 euros in two days, Dave. Thank you, really. That to me is honestly, guys, I'll be uh, completely honestly more inspiring than uh, anything. Taking two dollars to 50 dollars. Huge congratulations, my man. That's huge. There's the cells, guys. All right, we got Mr. Powell speaking too, okay? So remember, we they could pump the market eventually. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. Remember, we have a very, very, very big 10 a.m. U.S. folder, okay? J, J. Mick, my man. YouTube Elgo. Guys, listen. Do you see why the likes are so important? My man, J. Mick. Guy was going bananas on the call. Uh, he found us because it recommended to him. So more traders we get, guys. Uh, and the more likes we get, the more people we can reach. All right. Let's check out gold, maybe. Gold pumped. Okay, gold did pump up. All right, we didn't even watch it. Okay, we didn't even watch it. So... 
you can see gold pumped. Let's check out GU. Okay, GU started to get a little bit of reversal here. Got some rejection at, mark, at the entry, and now it's starting to sell off here. All right. So there's US 30 still selling off. Thanks, Benz. Absolutely. Okay, about a minute and 44. Where do I provide signal, Kieran? Uh, the big green box, big green box with the price flag saying 36024, my man. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, let me just check uh, my group here. Okay, so Julian. Okay. There you go, STP smashed. Okay, 35792. Okay, 35792. All right. So let's watch and see how far, what's going to happen here. This is the next buy area right here we have, guys. This is on the higher time frame, okay, on US 30. Check this out. This is on the hourly, guys. This is the hourly. I know, just ignore all this garbage right here, but this is where we're now focusing. This is higher time frame. This is daily demand, okay? So anywhere in here, price could sink more. And they could reverse it, okay, based on the news. So we're approaching now daily demand. Guys, if you on YouTube, if you could see the Zoom call here, I, I, I don't know how many people. There's been about 30 to 40 people who have said they're like over 1K in profit, okay? Perfect. Nice sell entry, guys. Okay, so now we're finding a little bit of support here, guys. 352. All right, let's watch and see. Remember, we have Mr. Powell, guys, 10 a.m. Mr. Powell here, okay? Let's go check out GBPUSD. What happened with GU, guys? GU is still continuing. Stop loss, no hit. Entry stop loss was hit if you put your break even entry, but if you had a nice little opportunity, you can see. Let's check out NASDAQ now. GU is still sinking, guys. Here's NASDAQ pushing a pull in case, so. This is not the best to be trading right now, okay? So just understand, they're probably going to consolidate it or do have miss, miss, I guess you could say, head fake movements until Powell's speech, all right? So basically, like I said, you got 10 minutes until the speech is going to happen, 
Okay, so we're going to see if they're going to pump the market or if they're going to dump it. All right, it's just, just how it's going to be. You can see that GU is still making a break movement here. It's starting to fall. 35652. Okay. Okay, not much movement just yet. Let's go flip back on US 30. Okay, still selling. Not much has happened. It hasn't broken anything yet. It's still finding support there. All right, so let's go check out gold. Okay, gold sold off, guys. Gold sold off. So just be aware that um, this is how you trade gold if you're trading it. You can see that I don't focus it on too much. I maybe look for two opportunities, and then that's it, guys, and then I leave it. All right, and you got to do it too. Look at these top wicks. This candle was right here, the signification that gold is going to be erratic. All right. Guys, so within 10 minutes, we have that Powell speech. Let's see if Powell is going to pump up the market and maybe gold or make a lower low. Okay, maybe some selling pressure here. Let's watch and see. And how that is known is if we're going to look at maybe a sell opportunity right down here, okay? This is a continued sell, okay? Making lower lows and lower highs. What's the TP on US 30, guys? Uh, I'm just watching. If it does start to break, we need to get some uh, bigger structure here. So we do have the 15 minute, but if price wants to continue to drop, guys, we have another area here. And we're just going to roll to the left. And the start of that big bull candle right there. Okay. So if US 30 wants to continue to sink, <clears throat> this is what we're looking at right here. Okay. Have two next take profits. But we're selling into some daily demand, guys. Okay. We are selling into daily demand. So just keep that in mind. All right. What is the Powell speech about? Good question. Okay, let's maybe go, let's go over this. All right. Okay, so why traders care? As head of the central bank, which controls short term interest rates, he has more influence over the nation's currency value than any other person. Okay, any other person. Traders scrutinize his public engagements as they often use to drop subtle, uh, subtle clues regarding the future monetary policy. So the Federal Reserve, guys. FED's Federal Reserve. Okay, that's Mr. Uh, Mr. Powell. All right. I made a big mistake, actually. Uh, it was funny. I was on one of the calls, and I said, Colin Powell. If you guys know who Colin Powell is, uh, <laughs> that was probably one of the funniest calls uh, I've ever done. You should have seen the chat. that was like, who's Colin Powell? That's not him. You know what I mean? But uh, you guys get the picture. <laughs> Where do you watch the speech, guys? Um, you can probably find it on YouTube. I have no idea where we would post it. I don't really care about it. All I care about is watching the price. Yeah, call him pal. Members, I am going to post the um, the speech, okay, in the group, so you guys will get it. Okay, so US 30 did make a nice little bounce here, guys. I wouldn't be in anything in with news, guys. Like if you're if you're buying this now, uh, just remember, 
when he when he talks guys the market rumbles okay the market rumbles so if you're gonna look for a short guys down here for the is this is just the continuation we would already be looking for this anyways okay this is just a new chart new continuation pattern here all right back down to three five six five two okay if price starts to break bullish all right I'm looking for the continuation above here okay I'm gonna put two this is gonna look really messy give me a sec goes bullish 35958 okay so just watch and monitor what's going on here this is just a continuation I'm just putting this on here to show you this is just a sell continuation we could have dragged this over and it would have been sells but if we want if price starts to reverse based on his speech and goes bullish this is what we're looking at right now okay there's Nasdaq trying to push up okay NASDAQ, the same opportunity for the buys, 15614. Okay, so let's watch and see. Okay, nothing's really changed here. Sell's still going to stay quadruple five, nine. All right, it's still going to be there. I'm not changing anything. All right. And gold is gold. So if the market dumps, okay, if the DXY, the dollar dumps, all right, gold will pump. If the market pumps, you have gold dump 1802 to 1799. Okay, so let's watch and see. Okay, so let's flip over and check out US 30. So you can see, guys, check the price out right here. The reason why I'm putting it above moving average because price needs to break through for a continuation. The below is still a continuation. I just, I keep flipping chart charts, guys. I just, I forget about GU, okay? This is GBPUSD. You see how they found nice support exactly where similar price was? Right there, okay? Now they're starting to go bullish, all right? So let's watch. Okay, there's your steady uptrend, guys. It's slowly starting to break. Okay. If gold goes bullish, guys, like I said, I'm going to probably be trading US 30 through it. All right. I know that uh, that's going to have some major moves. Same with NASDAQ. Okay. But if you guys are looking for gold, areas right here, I'm going to move this up. Roughly 1806.5. All right, leading to the overall bullish continuations. Now, don't enter in beforehand, guys. This will have a detriment to your account if they have the erratic behavior. So if price already pushes up in here, don't don't activate. Just react, okay, for real. <clears throat> Just wait. This news, like, it's very serious news, guys. Like, you're, you might see some... Um, you might see some manipulation. We've had... I've seen gold being manipulated live a few times, okay? Well, actually, many times, so... US 30 started to fall again, guys. Look at the US 30. Okay, started to break down already. All right, so remember I told you, uh, I'm going to move this down. Okay, this is just going to be the continuation. The reason why is because you don't want to be holding anything down here. All right, in terms of you, you, you get the picture. Okay, I don't need to keep repeating it. If you guys don't understand, sometimes learning lessons are the best lessons. Okay. Seven minutes, guys. Seven minutes. Okay, let's watch and see.
Okay, about 2 minutes and 20 to 27 seconds. All right. Let's watch and see the dirty here. It has not filled that big wick on the daily. All right. I'm just checking this out right now. It has not filled the big wick on the daily. So just remember this. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. So let's check this out again. Let's go check out gold. That gold already pushed through, guys. So, like I said, this is up to you whether you took it or not. Uh, I don't recommend it, but price can come back and then just smash down. 1807, guys, is a key number for sells. Okay, 1807, 1808. Like, it's a key number for sells, okay? This, I didn't expect this nice little push here, okay? Um, but just watch and monitor it, guys. It's a minute and 40 seconds. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be holding it. Okay, US 30 entry, guys, I'm looking at 35958. I'm needed to get above the moving average because a lot of the times it gets wicked down and then it head fakes people out, okay? This is a spin top candle right here, guys. This is indecision in the making, all right, before having its overall nice continuation. So they're doing this indecision right before the market uh, has that red folder news. What do you guys think? Do you guys think US 30 is going to pump or dump? Fifty seconds, guys. Fifty seconds. Let's watch. Okay, here's the news, guys. Let's watch and see. You know, it's starting to rise, guys. Just watch. Okay, slowly starting to pump. Okay, a little resistance here, guys, previous wick. Let's check out NASDAQ. Look at NASDAQ starting to pump, guys. Look at NASDAQ trying to pump here. All right, let's look at gold. Gold is slowly starting to rise. Gold is slowly starting to rise, okay? Not much movement yet. Remember, he's just speaking now. Okay, his speech members watching the group chat. See what the let's watch and see if it's live. Okay, it's just starting to be ten now. All right. So we're gonna stay to about ten, 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 fifteen, and then we're uh, good to go. Okay, guys, please stop spamming asking for for signals. Okay. So gold is pumping, it's tapping, if you guys held through there, like I said, this is tapping the overall trade right there at 1807.72, all right? Guys, look at what Aaron just said, okay? 
Look what Aaron just said in the YouTube, uh, Aaron Kroom, right? Okay, let's check out GU. Let's go over these trades. So GU made a nice little reversal pump, guys. So the dollar, let's see it starting to sell off here. Okay, you can see three bar play, all right, for the overall continuation. Let's watch. Gold is still rising. US 30 is getting a little bit of push down here, all right? Okay, let's check out NASDAQ. Still rising, guys. <clears throat> so I need to update this. Remember, that's at the 200, okay? There's GU. I think it tapped the bull moon. Okay, there you go, guys. So GU went bullish. Okay, flip script hard. There's gold still booming, okay? Gold is still pumping. Let's see what NASDAQ is doing. NASDAQ is trying to pump, all right? US 30, still a little bit of wick down here, all right? Guys, I just took 100 bucks on that US 30 buy, okay? <clears throat> Let's watch and see. Okay, five minutes, guys. We're going to stay for about 10 more minutes, and then we're going to dip, okay? watch and see this is the moving average guys this is what you got to watch for right here okay it's price gonna pump or dump past this see a little bit of rejection here okay so if this moves past here guys I'm looking for the opportunity for the buy now up here okay I'm gonna move that down three five eight nine nine it's got to get past this moving average Okay, NASDAQ pumped. Look at the pump on NASDAQ, guys. NASDAQ was best place so far, okay? 614 to 654, okay? Beautiful. Let's watch US 30. Let's check out the DXY here. You can see it's selling off huge, guys. DXY is selling off. All right, huge sell. A lot of erratic behavior right now, guys. A lot of erratic behavior here, okay? What do you guys think? Do you think US 30 is going to pump or dump, guys? What do you think? <coughs> Check out NASDAQ. NASDAQ is pumping. Let's watch it. 
He's trying to pump, guys. Getting a lot of rejection here right now, okay? Key decision. Let's check out gold. Okay, let's check out gold here. You can see gold is starting to sell off. Okay, a little bit of rejection there. Ran up. Head fake now, and now you're getting your sell here, okay? Check out US, starting to maybe flip here. All right. lot of resistance so far guys so we can still pump back up but it's got to have a nice little push we got to have the continuation guys it's being a lot of a um, it's being a lot of erratic behavior right now okay a lot of erratic behavior you can see it's spinning top it's doji it's moving in and out of uh, T like not even TP all right bit of push here guys this is looking nice okay guys so basically what I'm looking at is uh, price they're not um, I don't think Powell's speaking right now. So you might see the movement in about a couple hours, maybe an hour or so like that for the market to extend. It's 10-10, it's guys. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly go over, <clears throat> like I said, our program here. Okay, stocksnevertrading.com. Right, most of you, a lot of you guys have probably seen it. Okay, this whole site by the end of the month is going to be done, guys. It's going to be a whole revamp site. You're not even going to see this thing anymore. We have a more powerful, secure site. You know what I mean? It's going to have a lot more, uh, 140 different languages. It's going to be a beast, okay? Guys, we do four Tokyo sessions per week, four, uh, sorry, five London sessions per week, okay? Uh, we do, obviously, all the New York, okay? We give three to five trade signals per day. Guys, we have, uh, it's not a course. It's just a bunch of videos that we put together for you. Good for a beginner, intermediate, and... Um, advanced level users okay when the new site comes guys we got about probably 50 new tutorials to load up and we got a lot of <clears throat> new content coming as well as our back-end content for case studies different things like that okay so guys just make sure to understand uh, scroll down this is our social media okay uh, follow us on Instagram okay uh, this is on YouTube so you're already there all right Hit the like button, okay, for Facebook. And then this is our only Telegram group, guys. There is a scammer out there, okay. Uh, I'll post about who he is, okay. He uh, basically hacked in and, you know, did a bunch of things behind us. And when he adds you to any groups, guys, he will try to take your uh, take your money, okay, and uh, basically give you nothing in return. It's happened to a few of our members so far. So he's got you, we got to expose people like this because they're not good for, you know, obviously everything. Um, but don't follow anything else, guys. Join here. Join here, okay. If you guys want to join, all right, uh, just go to memberships at the top right hand side. Okay, this is it right there. You just click the red button, or you can click the PayPal. The button's a little bit delayed. Uh, sorry, move down, uh, just because we're doing some editing on the site. Okay, these prices, guys, they're going up just because of everything that we're introducing. Okay, we're gonna we have about five or six things that n not many other sites have, so it's gonna be very cool like that. All right. Um, one on one trade consulting guys, we're booking a month in advance. Okay, so if you guys are joining now, like I said, you might sign up for a time, but we'll contact you. And then basically, you'll have to rebook your time based on that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, guys, uh, always pay forward. That's why we go live on YouTube. Um, just be careful. A lot of the scammers out there, guys, they're, they're, they're around and they will try to add you to groups. And uh, they will try to take your money. Um, some of these guys are good, man. So just be aware of that. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, let's check out US 30. Okay, you can see now that US30 is doing some sideways movement here. 
All right. Um, if we have a break above 35899, obviously it's bullish. Uh, if it's bearish, we got to break below here for even to think close to the continuation sell, which would be roughly around this area at 35738. Okay. Um, GU guys is pushed up huge. Okay. Now it's in supply. All right. So nice four bar play here. So just keep that in mind, guys, if you're in GU, that it made a nice little push. Okay. NASDAQ is continuing bullish. Okay. You see you had a push, pull. This is your retest candle here. Then you had your continuation. All right, you could have your continuation. Okay, uh, some Salomon. Uh, no, we don't have coupon codes, buddy. If you go, if you see what we do for the price, you'll understand. You could go sign up for your your, your little signal groups and get a little signal saying, "Oh, Telegram, buy here, buy here, buy here." But you don't get live trading. You don't know how to trade. Okay, that's the way it is. With us, we put in time and effort, so that's what we ask you for in return. There's no coupon codes right now. Okay. So just check this out, guys. NASDAQ is making a nice little push. Let's check out US 30. Okay, a little bit of rejection here. All right, so you're getting pushed below that 9MA as well. We'll focus on gold. You can see that gold made a pump and then they dumped it. Okay, then they dumped it. All right, so just keep that in mind on gold. All right, so guys, I hope everyone had a good call. All right, we had really nice US 30 sell offs here, uh, really nice. Big moves at market open. It was a little bit sideways trading until then. NASDAQ was a nice sell off opportunity, too, which was right here, right before we had market. Okay. You had the overall continuation at market and then you had your nice pump based on the news. All right. So, guys, just remember practice proper risk management. The news folders were going to come to play probably in like 45 minutes to an hour when he starts to speak. Okay. So, have a good day, guys. Same time, same channel. Okay. Tonight, guys, we'll be doing a webinar and then London session is followed. All right. Thank you so much, people on YouTube. Have a good day. Be careful the scammers, guys. For real, I'm telling you, they will get you. Do not fall for anything. If anyone puts you in any groups, report them. I'm telling you, they will get you, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, guys, um, same time. I'll repeat it again. Same channel, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning, all right? Cheers, guys. God bless, and have a great day.